What's up? Plowman here with another video. This time I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. This is all the materials you need. Um, I'll do some B-roll to show you guys exactly what we need here. So as you can see, we got a few different supplies that we need here. Um, we have some flour. This is what is ultimately gonna be used to simulate our cocaine. Uh, we have some of this packing tape. Um, it's brown, and this you'd use the wrapper on the outside at the end here for this sort of look. We have this masking tape, which we'll use to cut along, and then we'll have this clear tape, which we use to wrap around the flower to provide a bag for us to use. Um, if at any time you want links to any of these, because I've seen other videos where they had kind of rough names and stuff, but they're super similar, so I wasn't sure if I was quite getting the right thing, um, I'll include links to all of this down below in the description. Um, yeah, you'll also need your cling wrap, uh, and a knife and that's really it and you'll need about probably half an hour for each one of these maybe longer It's a fairly time-consuming process on this channel first and foremost You'll get my music videos and my music from the plowman Secondly, you'll get product reviews thirdly you'll get tips and tricks to improve in the music game This is one of those if you happen to be shooting a music video and you need to make some fake cocaine bricks I'll show you how so here, let's dive right into it. So there's a few steps in this process, and before um, I dive into it, I just wanna tell you what we're gonna do so you know. First off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this masking tape, wrap it around the outside of this bag, then wrap this whole bag in cellophane, and then we're gonna tape over all that, and then we're gonna cut around this bag where this tape was, slice by slice, then tape back over it, and then once we've done that all the way around on this side, all the way around on this side, We'll go up to the top. Mind you, right at this point, this whole bag has been covered in both cellophane and this plastic tape. Then we're gonna make slices here on the top and here and here, and we're gonna lift this bag off. So this part of the bag comes off, we tape it back up, flip it over, do the other side. So I'm telling you that now for a few reasons. One thing, it's important to consider wherever this tape is, uh, you wanna be able to cover it with this brown tape to simulate this here. Um, you'll notice if you look closely that I didn't do that super well on this first one and you can still see some of the flower bag um, Where this tape doesn't cover it up and that's we don't want to do that So this next time I'm going to be careful and make sure Essentially only to do one strip of this tape Also the general shape of the flower that you have here is going to be the shape that you end up with So if you have some weird shape to begin with it's not going to magically become the right shape All right, so let's get it nice and square and let's begin so about where we want this brown tape to go, we're gonna cover this up and we're just gonna wrap it all the way around. Awesome. All right. So that's step one, simple enough. Step two, we're gonna wrap this bag in cellophane. Oh, one thing to note, make sure to get the right um, right size bag of flour. Flour comes in a bunch of different sizes. I got a five pound bag, let me grab that. And like, this is just an unrealistic amount. I realize, like, anyways, five pounds. I don't know how much five pounds of cocaine is, but it's insane amount. So don't do that. All right, so back to wrapping this. Let's do this. Um, this part's fairly straightforward. Try to just make it more or less even on either side. Um, and wrap this do that up. Actually, one thing I forgot to do here, it's somewhat helpful, uh, somewhat helpful to take this tape, just make a small piece of it. Um, and tape the cellophane that you're about to attach to this bag, just tape it on here, kind of like you would if you were wrapping a Christmas present or something. So 
there we are. Let's cut this carefully. All right, so now we have that. Next up, what we wanna do is we wanna seal off the edges. And this is mainly aesthetic. We're gonna tape over all this later. Um, we want it to look more this way. We'll do this. Here, I'll flip this around so y'all can see that. Just kind of take the edges in here, put it up, get some of this. Another thing I found is this tape likes to roll back onto the roll. So if you like attach it to something over here, it really helps. All right, so there we got one there. Let's wrap up the other side. Looks like this side is a lot less. So now we got those on there. Now we need to wrap the entire thing with this. Tape. And so this, this tape is what's going to actually form the bag essentially for us when we're done. Um, the cellophane also helps, but this stuff is definitely the stronger of the two. So now let's just start wrapping it up. All right, so now we have solid cover on the outside here. I'm just going to cover up these edges a little bit. All right. And some of you are probably wondering why why I'm taping over the bag if I don't want the bag in there. Um, and that's a good question. I'll get to that momentarily here once I get these edges finished off. Um, we'll figure out how to address that, but there's a way, which I'll show you how to take it out. the edges are definitely the hardest, the corners rather, where the tape comes together. Um, so just do your best on those parts. I don't really have any words of wisdom yet for those. All right, cool. So now we have this. Um, it's kind of worth doing a check at this point to make sure you've gotten the coverage you're hoping to get. Uh, if this flower starts leaking out anywhere, it's going to be it is really hard to fix. All right, so now this is where the trick comes in. We're gonna cut along this masking tape and we're gonna take this half of the bag out this side and this half of the bag out that side. So without further ado, we do this in quarters roughly. So start here. All right, so we do that. And we come in right here, tape it up. All right, and then we go back to where we ended on the last cut, go back in. And continue on. All right. Same 
same thing. Take some tape. Tape over the cut you just made. The first time I do this, I was like, what the heck am I doing here? I'm just cutting, cutting and taping over. That doesn't seem super productive. Um, but you'll see here, once we've done this to both sides, what I mean. Okay, cool. So now we've cut around all this one side. Um, I'll probably time lapse this next part. I'm uh, not gonna say much, but I'm just gonna cut around this other side. All right, now we're back. So what I've done is I've went around and cut around on the other side now. So now both of these pieces of paper on either side, I'll be able to take off and just this strip in the middle will be left remaining. And now let me show you what I mean by that. So without further ado, if we're really sure we're ready here, I think we are. Now we go through and open up this top piece. Let's do that. So the tops can be harder because there's more paper in there. They uh, fold over the paper for the flower bag. Now we slice over and make a little flap here. Do the same thing on this side. Bit of a flap here. All right, so now this side is loose. Just come in here, do the same thing. Get a flap on that side. Get a flap on this side. All right, I'm just gonna knock off this excess here. It'll really start messing with the tape if you get too much of it. All right, now, the moment we've been waiting for. Now I'm gonna use a spoon here just to do a bit of damage control. Um, So now we got this bag here, and what we're gonna try to do is very gently slide this up and out. All right, now we have this out of here. You want to tape this back up. I use a spoon just to get anything that's kind of on the edge here. All right, cool. Then I found for this the best way, at least I've found, is 
going this way, this way, and then getting the edges. Okay, so for this. So now we got it packaged back up um, and you can see it looks pretty good. All right, uh, just to finish right up here, uh, we had gone through, we've opened up, removed from both sides the paper out and now we're just gonna wrap it up in cellophane and then wrap it up with this and we'll be good to go. All right, so now we got it wrapped up nice and tight. Bring those in there. Let's clean the edge in. There we go. Bring this edge in. Awesome, sweet. So now we're on to the last step. The last step of this process is taking this packing tape and wrapping it up, and it serves the same purpose uh, if this was actually cocaine as. Uh, what we want here, which is just to tighten it up and help keep it all together. So we're gonna do that now and that'll get this kind of nice looking style. So this is where I told you about this paper in here. You gotta make sure it's not too wide so that you can't cover it up. Otherwise it kind of defeats, it makes it look like a flower bag, not a bag of drugs. So, I like wrapping it about twice. There we are. Then I'm gonna come through and do the same thing on the top. Dope, so there you have it. Packaged up, ready to go. Um, yeah, the good thing about this is if you wanted to and you have a scene where somebody uh, goes into it and samples it to see if it's good, um, you can definitely just do that and then uh, cut into it. There'll be flour there and then you can whatever gum it or however you're gonna have it and then you can seal it back up with some tape. Uh, yeah, so hopefully this is useful. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like it, please comment or subscribe. Uh, I do a lot of different how-to videos. I'm a rapper, so I'm dropping songs about every other two weeks at this point. And thanks for watching. I hope to catch you on the next one.